Hey Gearheads, Chris with GearReport.com. Today I'm out in the backcountry and I wanted to show you what's behind me. The Lightheart Gear Firefly. The Lightheart Gear Firefly with awning tent is one of the most simple, straightforward tents I've ever had the pleasure of setting up. All you need is the tent, a ground sheet, a ridge pole, five stakes, the white or the carbon fiber awning pole, and two trekking poles. First step, you're going to set out your ground sheet if you wanted to use a ground sheet. I like using the Tyvek ground sheet that Light Heart Gear supplies with the tent. It is perfectly shaped with the tent and gives me a good indicator of where I'm putting the tent before I even get the tent out. Once you get to your site and have your site cleaned out, go ahead and lay out your, flat, your ground sheet. Next step, pull the tent out of the bag. And when I roll the tent up, I roll the tent from the foot end to the head end so that way I always know that I've got that one single stake point for the head end. Go ahead and unroll it, flop it out, grab your stakes, and rock and roll. Well, the first stake goes in at the head end, just a single stake, which is different from a lot of tents that require two or more tents at or two or more stakes at the head end and then go to the foot end and completely unfold it and stand up the carbon stays just to give you an idea of where they're going to go into the ground <clears throat> once you do that you want to go ahead and throw a stake in at about a 45 degree angle on one corner and then move to the other corner and pull it taut along the side and again at about a 45 degree angle off the bottom get it good in the ground and your tent is laid out next step you want to grab your trekking poles and open up the tent to make sure that it is fully laid out and you've not got any of the tent folded or any of the rain fly bunched up and then at that point, you want to grab the white ridge pole, which is a piece of formed plastic, and your trekking poles. Lay your trekking poles into the tent, the pointy end of the trekking poles towards the head and the foot end with your grips. Slide the ridge pole through the included sewn in sleeve at the top, and then attach your trekking pole on the back side of the tent. Now I will say that this is done much easier from inside of the tent than it is from the outside as I'm doing as I'm showing but for the purposes of the video I wanted to be outside as much as possible. <clears throat> Once you have the backside trekking pole into the uh, portioned doubled up section of the tent go ahead and do the same for the front side now I will say to make note is that the awning vestibule side for me likes to slide over the center of the ridge pole of the tent which can cause it to bind a little just go ahead and flip it back over to the where it's supposed to be and climb in the tent and adjust the width of where the trekking poles are. At this point if you're caught in the middle of a downpour and it is raining the tent is dried in. But to continue on to make it finalized each of the three corners has a section of rope attached to a line lock three that will just go over the head of your stake as I show. The foot end has two 10 inch carbon fiber stays and the head end has a single five inch stay. Once this has been taken care of, go ahead and grab your two additional stakes. I like using the Vargo uh, shepherd's hook. It's 
because they don't have a pointy top and therefore if I'm barefoot in the middle of the night getting in and out of the tent I'm not going to risk tripping over them and cutting the bottom of my foot. The vestibules also have line lock threes attached to their guy lines. So go ahead and pull that taut. On the awning side, it's a little bit more complicated, but not by much. You're going to take the included 30 inch uh, carbon fiber pole and run it through the center grommet and then run a guy line down to the ground at an angle and pull the line lock three tight. As you can see, that's going to give you a nice taut uh, awning section and it really does open up the visibility. Last but certainly not least, go ahead and adjust the carbon stay to for the ridge vent and at that point your tent is set up. For the purpose of this video we're going to zoom ahead to the takedown and the takedown is much quicker and easier and I did speed this up a bit for uh, had a storm coming in. Go ahead and run around and loosen up all your line locks Two on the foot, one on the vestibule side, and then one on the head end. Go ahead and take out the carbon fiber stay. I like to pack the bag and the tent bag and everything at the head of the tent when I'm doing this because it's where everything's going to end up in the end. Climb on inside, pull your trekking pole handles towards the foot of the tent, and it comes down. Simply at that point, just unhook them from the ridge pole and toss them aside. Work out the ridge pole out of the sleeve, stick it with the rest of the gear. At this point, the Lightheart Gear Firefly has two tabs on the outside of the tent where the ridge pole, where the trekking poles are, and I just meet those together, kind of tackle them in. Go to the foot end, pull the stakes, selves. I set those with the rest of the stakes so I'm not losing any of the stakes. Now all the stakes are in the <coughs> bag. I then, in this case, I fold the carbon stays in and started rolling the Tyvek ground sheet up with the tent. Uh, in hindsight of doing it, this is the first time I've done it for this video. In hindsight of doing it, I'm thinking I probably will not do that again. It, not that it did anything wrong to the tent or the Tyvek, but it just made the tent just a little bit more difficult to slide in the very ample storage tent storage bag that Lightheart sends with it. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling with it just because of the Tyvek takes up so much space. I will probably in future store that separately on the trips. But again, thank you gearheads.